Normally, parents support their kids when they find a hobby. That might require buying sports gear or art supplies. But in One Valley family, the roles are reversed. When Ernie Adams' son saw their dad run out of room for his passion, they took his hobby for cars to the next level. Sammy Giebers shows us this dwarf car museum. Now, Gene's building this 64 Chevy convertible here. Ernie Adams has a passion. And this is my little 32 Ford three-window coupe that I built. He spends his days working on dwarf cars. The car had radio, heater, defrosters, windshield wipers, cow vent. They don't realize he built his cars in, the little, in, in front of this little shed. His son remembers his dad building the tiny cars here years ago. And this is what the home for his hobby looks like today. No, it all happened just accidentally. It, it just it looks like anything else, it evolved into this. Ernie's three sons, Jason, Richard, and Kevin, saw their dad running out of room in the garage when he was working on his dwarf cars. People were always coming over interested in seeing them. Well, I just wanted to build the cars. I didn't care about showing them, but they decided they should be shown. That little tool shed evolved into a museum. Thousands of people come through here every year to see these guys. <laughs> Adam's sons are over volunteering at the museum all the time. You'd think his boys would be making cars themselves. If, I, if he had to work with me, he wouldn't get anything done. <laughs> About the most I get to do on the cars is hold something once in a while. They just enjoy being around family. Even though the boys weren't building the cars themselves, they were building up their dad. It's good to know that That'll be here after I'm gone. All the kids are good kids, all three of them. I was just cleaning the top off a little bit. So even though it's dad's hobby, <laughs> it's the family's museum. In Maricopa, Sammy Giebers, Cronkite News. You can meet Ernie Adams at the Dwarf Car Museum just about every day. It's open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, visit dwarfcarmuseum.com.